this one is a resort in Bali that we did. It was under construction, and we just put some of the landscaping in, and w we were doing a, a very green approach. We wanted to use all local plants, and uh, so here, actually, it was an interesting landscape. It was all uh, very dry, but actually not that natural. It had been planted by the local farmers, mostly as cattle feed. There's a calf and a big cow. So it was sort of the unintended consequences were quite interesting that after planting all the landscaping, the local farmers brought in all their cows to eat it all. Interesting aspect about bringing nature and local planting and things into things is that uh, you somehow uh, engage more directly with the local thing and these interesting uh, consequences come out. So you're from Australia, but why you come to come to move to Singapore? Um, yeah, I'm, a, I'm an economic refugee. <laughs> when I graduated, I didn't know, I think architects always have this issue. If you graduate in a recession, you, you move or you become an academic. <laughs> um, and so from my classmate, everyone who just stayed in Australia are academics and all the ones who moved are practicing architects. Uh, so, I mean, it's hard to remember now because Australia's been in a boom for the last 20 years or so, but uh, 89, 90 was very bad. And uh, so, yeah, this was the first, first stop where I tried to get a job and I got one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so do you, f do you feel, do you see the difference of uh, being here and being Australia? Yeah, I do. I think, um, I think countries go through uh, sort of moods or stages. And Australia is quite, uh, was particularly when I left, was quite scared of the future. I think most people found, felt that they weren't going to have as good a lifestyle as their parents. Um, things had become very expensive and it, people weren't earning as much. So and coming to Asia, I found people felt the future was going to be much better than the past. And I think that gives architecture a very positive environment to work in because people aren't scared of what's going to be built. In many ways, they can't wait to see what's going to be built and how their lifestyle will change. Well, I think in Australia, people are scared of change. Uh -huh. So, but uh, so you want to be architecture since, as yeah, like without like since beginning, or was just because of the study? I was actually the opposite of you. I was going to do art, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually started doing fine art, and then. Um, I decided after one year, actually, that it was a very lonely profession uh -huh. and, uh, and that um, I wanted something where I could engage with people more. And uh, I s suddenly realized, oh, I had the, kind of all the background for architecture and I'd always been quite interested in it. But I only decided to do it when I was 19 after one year of art. Uh, 